Hi, I'm Leo Granado, Pepperdine Men's Volleyball, and you're watching This Week at Pepperdine. Who wants to be on television? The women's volleyball team hosts BYU on Thursday, and the game will be shown on ESPNU. Who wants to see the new and improved swimming pool in action? The men's water polo team has its home opener on Saturday with the 14 Pepperdine Invitational. A look at all of this, plus the latest on last week for the Waves on This Week at Pepperdine. For our three stars from the last week, we begin with the Pepperdine women's tennis team who won three consolation championships at the San Diego State Fall Classic over the weekend. Danielle Fenneritas and PT won their various singles brackets, while the doubles team of Fenneritas and Michaela Capodolo won in doubles. Both tennis teams will be in action this week at their respective ITA All-American Championships. Lorraine Guillermo and Ali Granillo will battle in both the singles and doubles qualifying draws starting on Tuesday in Pacific Palisades. And for the men in Tulsa, All-American Alex Sarkeesian opens the singles main draw on Thursday. Becca Strelo helped the women's volleyball team to a pair of road victories with 83 assists. Pepperdine won in five sets at Portland on Thursday and in four sets at Gonzaga on Saturday. We got two amazing wins that we really needed under our belt, especially after losing to Santa Clara and San Francisco. It really helped us as a team come back together and really just fight and know how we play as a group. The Waves have a huge week at home coming up. They'll host Brigham Young on Thursday night at 8 p.m. in a match that will be televised by ESPNU. Come hungry because the first 200 students through the door will receive a free Chick-fil-A sandwich. Then number 13, San Diego, comes in on Saturday afternoon. Well, Thursday, it is televised, so everyone needs to come out and support us. You know, wear your orange. Um, but I just feel like these two teams are going to be really tough. It's going to be a really hard week, but I think we can pull it together if we just have the confidence in us that I know we have. Grace Nall led Pepperdine to a dominating team victory at the Golf Week Conference Challenge last week and earned her fifth career individual title in the process. The Waves finished 36 strokes ahead of runner-up UC Davis. After winning their first two tournaments of the season, the Waves will try to make it 3-for-3 three for, three for the first time in program history this weekend at Oklahoma's Schooner Fall Classic. Only one home event this past week, women's soccer taking on Cal State Fullerton. Freshman Kristen Rodriguez netted her third goal of the year as the Waves and the Titans battled to a 1-1 draw. The Waves are off this week and will get ready to start West Coast Conference play on October 11th at home against Gonzaga. Raleigh Runnels Memorial Pool will host its first game since its summer renovation project this Saturday. The Waves will host the Pepperdine Invitational, which includes Concordia, Golden West College, and Long Beach City College. Pepperdine is looking to build off an extremely competitive 8-7 loss at top-ranked UCLA this past weekend. It was a battle all the way through, playing the number one team in the nation, and we really uh, brought our A game for the most part. This was just, it was huge for us, potentially, and building for the rest of the season. We're really excited about this tournament this weekend, hosting the first games at the new pool, and it's going to be a great experience for all the people coming out, seeing the new pool, the uh, new scoreboard and everything. We're all really stoked about it, so it should be good. The cross-country teams were in action this past weekend at the Stanford Invitational. Katie Engel and Gordy Thomas were the top women's and men's runners, respectively. The Waves will be in action again in two weeks at Santa Clara's Bronco Invitational. A great week coming up here in Malibu. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on This Week at Pepperdine.